So a couple of weeks ago, we shot a two-day National Rifle League match, and one of my friends sent me a text on the Monday after the event. So we shot Saturday, Sunday, and he sent me a text and said, "Listen, are you, are you sore, you know, from shooting the match?" And I was like, "No, I'm, you know, I'm all right." And that got me thinking, like, how big of a role does cardio play or physical fitness play when it comes to shooting? Because if you think about it, you know. On face value, it would appear that you know we're shooting for you know 90 seconds, so we're shooting for about six seven minutes during one day of shooting, which is not a lot, but there is a hell of a lot that goes into that to make the whole thing work. You know, we're we're spotting, we're working out what our bullet drop is. There's there's quite a bit of mental work going in there too, and sometimes as with this specific match. There is a physical element to the match too, like we had to carry all our own all our own gear. Our rifles are pretty heavy. My rifle's pushing probably, you know, I think I'm at, at about 12 kilograms for this specific match. You know, the scopes are heavy, the barrel's heavy, the chassis is not that heavy, but we add weight. So you've got to carry that. You've got to carry all your support bags. Luckily, I only shoot with one bag, but it's not light. All your water. I'm carrying all the camera stuff, because how else are you guys going to come along? And... You know, I try and be physically fit. Now, during that match, I'd actually just sort of gotten back into running because about five weeks after I had my wrist surgery, which, by the way, kind of looks like it was almost self-inflicted, but I assure you that it was, well, I guess in a way it was because <laughs> the motorbike certainly didn't crash itself. Uh, but anyway, about five weeks after my surgery, my doctor cleared me to start running. And I really got into running and I was running with the XR sprays. You guys know I wore that really cool sort of brace and I got my physical fitness pretty much back during that three weeks because you're not going to lose that much in in you know a five week sort of period and what I've noticed and this is not just with this specific match but in the past is that the longer we're shooting the more the mental mistakes start creeping in and I think from a fitness point of view you know if we're fit then we have a better mental focus, you're going to have a better mental resolve. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to mean you have to be cardio fit, you know, run seven minute miles, those kind of things. But to have some form of fitness is going to play a big role, you know, just to have a little bit more agility if you're moving between props, to have some form of stretching routine maybe, to get into those nice and low positions. Core stability is going to be a massive advantage okay if you build up your core muscles to help you stabilize in weird positions and stuff like that so I think fitness is very much an overlooked aspect when it comes to precision rifle shooting I know the you know look at the professional IPSC shooters they're all like not necessarily pencil guys but they're they look like athletes right and I think there's a reason for that obviously they need a little bit more agility they're running between stages and things like that but for us I don't think it's gonna be a waste. So I'm going to really focus on that this year. I've actually entered a two-day trail run, which is going to be in November, which I'm really excited for. So I'm starting to sort of train for that. Now, by no means am I delusion that I think that I'm going to go and do well at one of these events. This is purely going to be for, you know, sort of to have a goal to train for. And I've always found that with, with many things in life, it's very difficult to get out of bed and go running in the morning when you don't necessarily have a higher goal and the same thing goes to shooting if, if you know when I started shooting my goal was to get at least 50% of the winning guys score and that was what I was training for and sort of mentally preparing myself for and figuring out you know that's that was what I used to set my mini guidelines as to all the learning that needed to happen and the same thing goes with physical development so set a, a reachable goal that you can get to and let's see if this makes you know a difference with regards to your shooting performance I know for me it's been an advantage especially going into multi-day events I really think that that's where it's going to show its true colors I really want to do an event like something like the mammoth sniper challenge I wish that they had an individual category and if you guys know of such an event please let me know in the comments down below I that would be something that I'd be really keen. Take a little lightweight 223 bolt gun and hit the hit the road with your shoes on. Take minimal gear. And uh, that could be a really fun match. If you'd be interested in shooting something like that in South Africa, let me know. I have a venue in mind that we could do something really, really cool where it could be safe that you'd never shoot in somebody else's direction and have like a little time 
a time-based run um, over like you have eight hours to complete it or whatever the case may be and uh, it's a combination of time versus hit percentage so I think that could be a really fun match and how you could throw in a team category like the Mammoth has too but I really think that that could be something cool and if there is enough interest we could absolutely make that happen so let me know in the comments down below if you'd be interested in doing something like that I was very much aware that my recovery was going to be a long one and I wanted to expedite that process as much as I can. So I reached out to a friend of mine who shoots with us in the NRL, Ruan. They own a company, Nutrition Rates S. So I'm going to have their details down here. And uh, they sorted me out with so many things that helped speed up my recovery. First of all, I wanted to get some proteins. I got some the best proteins from them to really help with all the rehab I was doing to get my muscle growth back and to try and get strength back in my arm because that was the big part where I was lacking is the actual grip strength. And due to all the rehab that I'd been doing, my arm was so sore in the evening that it literally kept me awake. So he gave me this amazing CBD freeze, a sort of pain relief stuff, which really helped a lot, as well as melatonin, which put me to sleep, and then some glutamine, which really helped take that sort of edge off the initial muscle soreness. So head on over to Nutrition Rage if you're looking for your next supplements and help support a fellow shooter in their business instead of going to the sort of big box supplement stores. That would really be appreciated. And what they're even willing to do for one lucky viewer is they'll give you a 10% voucher off your first purchase. So make sure you go over to my Instagram and comment in that post and we'll be announcing a winner on there pretty soon. So guys, let me know if, if you've maybe gone through a transition where you weren't fit and now you are fit. Did it improve your shooting? Are you currently perhaps even in a place where you know you need to do something? For me personally, being fit has always been, I feel like I'm mentally more switched on and it really helps you in so many other aspects of your life and you really don't need me to tell you this. We all know this, it just kind of sucks to do the work, but isn't that the case with most things? But the reward we're gonna get at the end is so much sweeter than shooting a little bit better. You know, I'm a better dad, I'm a better husband. Everything is just better when you're a little bit more active and you feel better, which is awesome. And uh, we have spoken about sort of struggling mentally and how exercise can help you with that. And I will link that video for you guys too at the end over here if you haven't seen that. It's a little bit of a different video, but I do feel like at the end of the day, my channel is designed to make us all better shooters and being fitter, I'll put money on it. It's gonna make you a better shooter. See you guys in the next one. Bye.